Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and Rassi Rasmus has officially announced his 23, his Springbok 23, to face Argentina in Santiago del Estero this weekend. Today kick off, by the way, 11 o'clock on Saturday night, and it's a long day. We've got uh, uh, the Brazil Cup kicking off at about 8 o'clock in the morning, or Curry Cup at 4 o'clock, so pace yourself, people. It's a lot of rugby to get through over quite a lot of space time. So, uh, But yeah, kickoff is at 11 o'clock, and uh, Rusty Rasmus has made 10 changes to his side that beat New Zealand down in um, Cape Town with a lot of rotation, a new captain, a new look half back pairing um new look uh lock combination new look back row and a new look six two split uh in terms of your backline players that are there before we look at the teams please do smash like on the video please do subscribe uh to the channel as well let me know in the comments what do you think of this there's your team let's get stuck into it shall we so first of all uh oxen chair uh, has got two new front row partners malcolm marks will start as will Thomas de Toy. Pretty much expected from a Thomas de Toy um, perspective. I think that he was always going to start. Vincent Koff primarily been used off the bench. Uh, it's good to see Malcolm Mark starting. Very interesting to see that Jan Hendrik Vessels is on the bench at hooker. You know, he continues to get these opportunities, which is quite strange given the fact that Rassi Rasmus very much came out and spoke about the fact that Jan Kroblo was the second cho third choice hooker behind Bongi and Malcolm. And all of a sudden now Jan Hendrik Vessels is kind of getting his opportunity ahead of him. Uh, if you look at the second row, though, Ruan Lokia will continue in that, that number five jersey, and uh, he'll be joined by Sal Murat, who comes back into the starting lineup and will captain the side, uh, despite having some very experienced players like a Malcolm Marks, for example, a Kanye, um, Andre Pollard even, he will take the captain's armband. We generally always do have a forward as captain, and uh, he has been backed this weekend. It is the new look loose trio. Malcolm and Starden comes in and gets his first start in quite a while. Next to Ben Jason Dixon, who comes back as expected. Jasper Visa does continue in that number eight jersey. He has been pretty good since coming back. Uh, hasn't looked like he's been missing a lot of rugby, to be honest. He's got up to pace very, very quickly, and uh, back and bruising the Argentines will be his job this weekend. Uh, if you look at the halfback uh, combination, as he generally does, Kubas Rank does start, and uh, Jaden Hendricks will come off the bench. I would really like to have seen Jaden Hendricks start. I think that's probably my early sort of first change I would have made uh, in terms of having Jaden Hendricks start. You could have had Kubas Rank off the bench. I would have liked to have seen Mornay Vandenberg, to be honest. But uh, there, and then Andre Pollock starting again. I still think, you know, we're really missing a trick. You've got to feel for Martin Ebok, who I thought was tremendous against Portugal and uh, does not get the opportunity to, to start. And we'll come off the bench as a bit of a utility back, very much named as a utility back, by the way, according to uh, the press release. So that in itself is pretty interesting. Uh, the back three is Max Loma Pimpi, Kurt Lawrence, Apple Lefassi, probably as pretty much expected. Uh, the center combination, and we thought we might see it, the Kanye Am, Jesse Creel, once again, we trialed this against Australia, but to be perfectly honest, didn't really get to uh, see it in, in full force. It was horrible conditions. We didn't really get the the, the dry go for it boy wanted, for example, to really see if the center combination can work. So I do think this is going to be a much better opportunity to, to see that. Then off the bench, a couple of changes. Um, Jan Hendrik Vessels, as mentioned, but uh, Harris Dinekamp and Vincent Koch continue in that sort of 17-18 role. Uh, Ibn Etzebeth will form part of the bomb squad and will equal Victor Matfield's record when he comes on of 127 test appearances. He will then ideally probably start next week and will become the most capped Springbok of all time in Mombella Stadium. Uh, if we then look at the rest of the bench, Albert Lowe, Quaka Smith continuing those sort of bomb squad roles. Albert Lowe, I think, has really put his, uh, himself up in the mix there. I feel a bit for Nico Janssen Rensburg, who hasn't really been given opportunities uh, thus far. He's been brought in. Hasn't had any game time. I haven't really seen him. Uh, and then Jane Hendricks and Moyne Leibach, the other two players on the bench. Uh, if we look at some of the stats, for example, before we sort of really dive into this, uh, it is uh, a six test convict a six consecutive victory uh, for the box. Longest running strong, uh, run in the competition's history, which will include the Tri-Nations. Uh, we have won nine of the last 10 meetings between us and Argentina. The last time we lost was in Mendoza in 2018. One of two losses uh, we've actually had against Argentina. Uh, Pollard needs four points to uh, overtake Mornay Stan and become in second place in the all-time point scores. This person is currently leaving with 893 points. If we look at the total test caps, for example, 488 
in the starting lineup. Uh, they are 294 in the back line, 195 in the forwards, um, 277 of which 127 will be uh, 126 are Evan Etzebeth's. Uh, the average caps per player in the back line is 42. In the forwards, just 24 on the bench, 34. So lots of experience in the back line on the bench, not that much experience in that front row. So yeah, it's an interesting side and very interesting to see uh, from this who then plays next week because it is very much a team that's been picked with a bit of rotation, but I think, you know, a team picked to win. Uh, for me, the Kubis Rana, Andre Pollard selection probably shows you that, that they're very much looking to to, to get this result um, and, and they're very much taking it very seriously. But um, what do you think? This is the question.